What's going on YouTube? It's the Green Shiz here with another PWCC analysis video. Um, pretty much quit doing these right when I started having my back issues and I'm going to jump right back into it now. Um, so basically what I do every Sunday, I go live on YouTube um, during the PWCC weekly auction. And basically during the auction, I'm just um, looking at my own cards, but I'm also kind of talking about different things going on in the markets. Um, and also just analyzing the current auction that's occurring in front of me. Um, and also I do some of this stuff here that I'm going to be showing you. Um, it still needs a little bit of work because I am behind quite a bit, but I got most of the stuff I wanted to get updated fully up to date for you guys, kind of just show you the, some of the different things going on. Um, so I'm going to jump into this here in a moment, um, show you the, some of the different stuff I have, and really look forward to this next auction. There's a decent amount of cards. Um, didn't really bid much in the last one because I didn't have time to review it. So without further ado, let's get into this. So as I was mentioning, um, PWCC. So this started, the weekly auction started all the way back almost two months ago, which is crazy that we almost have two months under our belt of PWCC weekly auctions. And just another side note. So PWCC sales are now being recorded in the research tab on their website. So highly recommend it as another resource. Instead of just eBay sold listings, you can also use the PWCC website to look at actual sold prices um, and that'll be extremely helpful because they have over 1.5 million cards sold through their website um, and they don't just delete sold listings after 90 days like eBay which kind of blows if you guys fix that at eBay that would be absolutely amazing um, you probably should even if you just keep the sale price with an image something just to not take up as much data I guess on your servers um, something to go past 90 days would be awesome so getting back into this so the first weekly auction we looked at 1200 cards and it basically is not returned down to 1200 cards at a single weekly auction since the beginning and the biggest trend you'll see is that the number of Pokemon cards is just ruling the PWCC weeklies um, it might not be ruling in quality or average sale price but you'll basically see every week the percentage of Pokemon is higher than everything else. Except for, yeah, even this week, there's somebody dumped an entire football collection. And this is the highest football week right here at week four. So scrolling down here, week eight just finished. And now we're into week nine. And this is probably the heaviest Pokemon auction we've seen. Um, with 2,300 Pokemon cards. Over 90 pages of Pokemon cards, 24 cards per page, which is actually too much. So the 1500 mark, the 1200 mark is a respectable quantity in my eyes. Looking through 20, if you want to actually look at 2300 different listings, it's an insane amount of time. I just sat here for 40 minutes on a computer, which is the fastest method. And I got through about 20 pages. That's a lot of time. 40 minutes, 20 pages. And I've probably only been on like six or seven items so far. Because sometimes I want to click and sometimes I want to look at the back of the images. And it just takes a lot of time. So I really would love to see them cap this off. Because there could be a time where somebody wants to dump a collection. They just need to be like, hold up. It doesn't make sense. 2300 Like there's going to be cards in this auction that just go to PWCC guaranteed. Um, it's a lot of cards. There's there's a lot of eyes on PWCC, but there's a lot of stuff that people just don't notice um, that goes kind of slips under the radar. So if you have a chance to actually go through every listing the day before, um, that's always a good time to do it because then you get kind of the most latest pricing that is on auction. So. Like if I went going today, everything is pretty much cheap. So I can't really pick out the stuff that's going cheap because literally every listing is cheap. 
Um, so when you get closer to Sunday, it's easier to actually find the stuff that's actually going cheap. So recommend that for sure is kind of just maybe wait as long as you can to review these and get your bids in. Um, but do recommend actually looking at everything because the way I utilize this, like a lot of people, you can pick up a bunch of cheap stuff and sell at fixed price. Um, I have done it a few times. I, it's some of the other times I bring it back to my house to sell it on eBay because I want to get more eyes on it. So stuff like Yu-Gi-Oh cards, there's not a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh selling on PWCC. Um, so this type of stuff, in my eyes, might sell better on eBay. A few different things, but I don't know. It's just uh, it's a game you got to play, and uh, that's what I'm trying to do to the best of my ability. So looking at Week 9, we have 2,300 Pokemon cards, a total of only 5,900 cards. We're tr we've been averaging well over about 6,000 every week, except for some of the earlier ones. But basically, the last two weeks have been about 6,300 and 6,700 cards. And we're below 6,000, and Pokemon's at 2,300. So we're almost half of the entire auction in Pokemon, which is insane. Um, PSA, somebody's somebody dumped some PSA cards. We're at almost 1,800 PSA cards in this entire auction um, versus 424 CGC. So that was flipped recently. Recently, CGC had more listings. Um, I don't even look at Beckett because usually it's a lot more scarce. Uh, they're not as popular in PWCC for whatever reason. Usually there's some expensive Beckett cards, but not quantity. Um, so I don't even do a, uh, a mathematic equation for that to figure out the differences. Um, there's a decent amount of Japanese, but there is tons of English cards here. Um, looking and I was just browsing through the auction there is like I said thir like I said here 1300 Wizards of the Coast so it's split kind of even um, 1300 Wizards of the Coast and everything after Watsi is about a thousand cards still so that's still a bunch of cards from the two different eras there's way more two eras but just to give it a little bit of ease of <laughs> doing some math here instead of breaking it down into 30 different eras, the Diamond of Pearl, or whatever. Just, it would get, it'd be madness. It would take way too much time. So, um, Yu-Gi-Oh! and Magic the Gathering consistently have low numbers. Uh, you're usually talking sub-50, sub-100. Um, you can see down here next week, Yu-Gi-Oh! actually spikes up to 119. So, they're, they're like, this is their highest Yu-Gi-Oh! auction. Um, back on eBay, they were selling, I want to say, a lot more. A lot more Yu-Gi-Oh cards were pumping through the eBay auctions when PWCC was there. Not really sure why that kind of fell off, because um, I was definitely eyeballing a bunch. Maybe it is similar, but it seems low. It seems much lower. Um, kind of going back here. So, 2,300 cards this week. Again, you need to get your time in. If, you want, if you're there trying to make some money, buying some cheap slabs you need to take the time to look through as many as you can and as or as close to sunday auction time as you can so you can kind of go through like wow okay this psa 9 shadowless pikachu is still 14 dollars. i'll place a bid at 15 nobody's watching this right now there's only a few of us bidding on it three or four of us and odds are not all of us are going to be live during the auction so there's a chance i'm going to walk away with this pretty cheap so Stuff like that is what I got keeping in mind. Um, not always looking for the expensive cards because <sighs> there's tons of stuff sub $50. More of the expensive cards get more eyes because usually people walk into PWCC and they filter PSA 9. They filter PSA 10. Um, so a lot of that stuff does get some eyes on it, especially the $100 plus stuff. People are looking at that. Seems there's more high rollers on PWCC, so some of the high dollar stuff tends to do pretty well. PSA 10 Charizards historically have done very well inside of these auctions, um, even surpassing like, and it almost looks like shilling for some of the, how high these prices have achieved. Sometimes it's actually crazy, but <sighs> this is awesome. Really excited, especially for next week. 
only 1,600 cards, not even 1,700. So this is totally respectable quantity, um, much less 70-ish pages of 24 cards. Um, and that does include booster boxes and stuff like that. So really nice to see this come down to earth. Um, still 31% of the total auction, which is they're definitely holding strong. And another fun fact, I've, I've listened and I think I've said it before, but um, PSA reports their numbers every every month, at least once a month, and they do it in their podcast, which I highly recommend. It's some, some interesting information. They re report their numbers every week. Um, but Pokemon, for the first time, was the most graded card. Not the most received in by PSA, but the most graded output um, out of all these other categories. Basketball which was the leading for 14 straight months, was just unearthed by Pokemon, essentially. So Pokemon, for the first time ever in their life, was the most graded card in a month. Um, likely, this is a lot to do with the backlog. But everything else was in the backlog, so we could see Pokemon as the most graded category coming out of PSA 4. A few months and that'll be really interesting to see because likely it won't be just February um, it could be a few more months and we'll see we'll see how long it keeps going um, so I'm really curious I know there was a lot of people sweating I saw under the podcast on Instagram there's a lot of people like oh I think it was just because of all the Pokemon hype and stuff well it hasn't really gone down and the PSA backlog happened and a lot of people quit submitting basketball cards at the same time they quit submitting Pokemon cards because the price was insane. Um, so it wasn't just Pokemon that stopped submitting at a certain time. It was everybody because they said, we're not going to be taking submissions for some time. So this will be really interesting to see how long Pokemon can carry the ball, pun intended. Um, so really looking forward to see that and make some other sports card people just open their eyes to what's happening. That being said, the PSA podcast is heavily sports discussion, but there is some, there was like a Pokemon discussion recently in one of their podcasts, but I'm more into it for the numbers of what's going on um, and kind of keeping up to date on that. So some of the other sports cards that the actual sports players are over my head right now. I'm not a modern sports guy. If I am, it's for local sports and they don't talk about Detroit sports because they're trash. So, next statistic here. I just wanted to kind of show this. This is a breakdown just showing the trend curve of where they are averaging. So, this is week one. They had about 1,250 cards. It went up. It went down. It went up. So, we're basically averaging about that number around 1,700, which is good. Um, 16, 1,700, it looks like. I probably could take an average right here, and I'm going to. Highlight these. There's a sum, 18,000 divided by, was it nine? Yeah, 18,000 divided by nine. So yeah, we're basically at 2,000, which is kind of high, actually. So it's averaging about 2K. So yeah, I'd like to see that closer to 1,500, in between 1,500 and 2,000. It's a lot more easy for me to get through every listing and kind of keep it in front of me instead of stuff like last week where I just don't have time to go through it and and spend three hours looking at every listing so um does anybody else do that am i the only one i'm kind of curious are you looking at every listing or are you just kind of filtering for stuff you like um because i have like there was a couple weeks where i was like all right dude i'm not going to sit down again for three hours i need to just at least look at this so psa 9 psa 10 shadowless those are some of the stuff I was filtering. Um, so really looking forward to it. Auction's coming this Sunday. Usually I go live around 9.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, I will be there unless I'm deathly ill or sick, which I should be good. I should be good because I just got my sickness out of the way two weeks ago. And my back's been feeling amazing. So upward and onward. Looking forward to... Uh, doing another live this weekend. Hope to see you there. Let me know if you're going to stop by. Um, I appreciate you guys being here through this entire video if you're still here. I will uh, keep these things rolling out. I do have some other things on this spreadsheet I need to update. I want to update. Just haven't had the time, but 
hope you guys enjoyed this and there was some useful information, at least a tidbit. Um, I do like looking at these numbers myself, so it's not definitely not wasting my own time. I, I do want to track this to see how PWCC is doing. Um, and I really hope eBay, when they open their vault, they do these similar type of auctions so I can compare side by side what's happening. Um, that would be extremely interesting information because reasons. So thank you guys. Y'all have a good one. Peace. <laughs>